Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. In this video, we are going to talk about allele-specific oligonucleotides. An ASO or allele-specific oligonucleotide is a short fragment of synthetic DNA that is complementary to the sequence of a variable target DNA. As the definition includes variable target DNA, that simply means it actually detects the mismatch in the DNA or more importantly SNPs. Now let me tell you one important thing here that it's designed in a way that makes it specific for only one version or allele of the DNA being tested. Let me explain this diagrammatically. As we know alleles are alternative forms of a gene. When a mutation occurs it gives rise to two different alleles for a gene. One type is wild or normal and another one is mutant. The allele specific oligonucleotide has the ability to detect this specific allele. So in this example the wild type has A and T bases and we look at the mutant form it has got G and C. As I said, it's designed in a way that makes it specific for only one version or allele. So let's say we are specifically designing it for mutant form. Let's name it probe M. And as a control, another ASO would be synthesized for the normal sequence and named it as W for wild form. Each ASO is complementary to its target sequence and hence will bind strongly. But if you see clearly, it has a single mismatch against its known target allele that is normal or wild one. This mismatch leads to weaker interactions. So what's happening here is that the technology takes advantage of the fact that perfectly complementary DNA duplexes are more stable than duplexes with mismatches at a temperature just below the TM. That is conditions are carefully adjusted to be slightly below the TM of the ASO DNA hybrid. Under these conditions, ASO DNA duplexes that are not perfectly complementary are unstable and will melt. The ASO is then visualized, for example, Radioactive ASOs can be detected by exposing an X-ray film to the blot. Now there are other important conditions that play a great role in target specificity. These are the length of the allele-specific oligonucleotide from which strand ASO is chosen, the conditions by which it's bound to and washed from the target DNA to be easily detected after it has bound to its target, the ASO must be labeled with a radioactive enzymatic or we can say a fluorescent tag. This was all. Thanks for watching.